Hello everyone and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. It's uh, oh yes, it is. Oh my goodness. It's another sparkling day in Central Oregon. Oh, and uh, <laughs> apparently my dogs are happy about it too. <laughs> I got goosed. So, uh, wow, it's a pretty day and uh, it's our Sunday. And uh, got a day off or so from uh, recording. It was kind of cool. And uh, we did a lot of harvesting yesterday. Uh, a lot of peppers, a lot of uh, tomatoes. I'll show those to you a little later. Uh, yeah, and we uh, kind of cleaned up some of the uh, trellises because uh, fall is showing its ugly head as far as killing off some of our plants because it's time and uh, of course I've got to come out here to the greenhouse and stuff and check all the systems and uh, we actually got a couple pieces of corn but uh, not one of our big successes uh, but yeah so we cleaned these up a little bit took down some plants that were just uh, saying it's they're done and got that cleaned up and uh, we'll see how they all hang out there. We are overran with <laughs> with the yellow peppers. We've got yellow peppers there, way over planted on the yellow peppers. And uh, cause we weren't sure how successful we'd be, but we got more here and here and down there too. So uh, now we'd like, what do you do with all these peppers? I mean, we've been, we pull a, buckets worth yesterday and we still we got tons more and uh swiss chard and everything else is doing great uh the broccoli is taking really well and we're getting a couple more tomatoes today and uh i was experimenting with the chickens and uh i wanted to see if they would eat or devour our uh chicken uh corn stalks so i cut some down and put it in here and it's like where are they so apparently they might like them so like i was saying the corn stalks you know we were able to pull some of them out of here because we pulled corn off of them but what do you do with those stalks after they're done we uh broke some of them up threw them in the compost but geez they're like branches so it'll be interesting to see how they break down this is uh, where we put uh, some of them. And uh, we did pull a couple of potatoes. So we did get some red tomatoes and a couple of russets, um, but they weren't very big. But yeah, um, corn stalks. Got to figure out what we're going to do with those this year. Um, we're kind of thinking about just letting them all die out right there and then take them through my, uh, my, uh, chopping machine and just turn them into pulp and then use them in our compost that way i think that's probably the best way to break them down well guys i was checking out the strawberries this is insane i've got so many strawberries look at all these things tons of them <clears throat> and uh <clears throat> we can't eat them fast enough so i think today i'm gonna actually pick a whole lot of strawberries and I think we're gonna freeze them for uh, making uh, smoothies with and stuff like that so what a nice problem um, we come out here and eat probably six or seven a day and uh, they're producing faster than we can eat them and that's great <laughs> so, look at all the strawberries so they're just beautiful so yeah may as well enjoy them and freeze them and capture them right now before uh, the winter comes. Uh, once again, I'm not sure how I'm going to uh, preserve this for the winter yet. I'm not sure what I have to do. I know what to do if they're in like uh, soil and stuff, but I'm not sure what to do on the towers here. So we'll see. Uh, I'll do research and we'll let you know what we're going to do. But yeah, lots of strawberries. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Is that a bone? Yum. Cinder, what you got? Yeah. Well, 
Well, I transferred a couple more of the bok choy out here. Uh, they seem to be doing really well. Uh, by the way, uh, you know, I've always been fighting aphids in here. So usually when I put a transfer into the floating rafts, I treat them with neem oil uh, just to protect them from aphids. And uh, so far, we're doing, uh, doing really well. So uh, looking forward to trying the bok choy and cooking with it. So uh, yeah, nice plant. Well, it's a little later in the day and Sherry's joining me out here. She's going out to the floating raft that I cleared and uh, gonna spruce it up. And I'm gonna pick some strawberries. Do you need any help out there? Yeah. Huh? Good. Okay, so I, uh, I'm gonna start picking strawberries. Alright guys, so I uh, got a pretty good little batch, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna let those uh, clean them up a little bit, put them in the freezer, so uh, they'll be good for smoothies and whatever else we want to use, milkshakes, and uh, that way we don't lose any. Let's go see how Sherry's doing. So I just kind of poked in here and Sherry's kind of hand washing, you can already see the difference. We uh, we get a lot of dust in our region, so uh, anyway, she's sprucing that up, and uh, we'll treat it for aphids, and then we'll start reloading it pretty soon. Hey, kitty, kitty. Did you? Meow. <coughs> well, we're definitely getting inundated with zucchini again, um, and uh, to make it worse. Some of our other zucchini plants are producing also. And uh, I just got rid of a whole bunch of them and they're all back again. And uh, on this zucchini plant over here, there's a lot more over on the other side too. It's insane. So uh, I think we're gonna probably pull some of it and see if we can freeze it. So Sherry got uh, the other plate here all cleaned up. Looks really good. Uh, the bok choy kind of got moved around a little bit. It'll take a day or two and it'll start going back up again. And we've been uh, cleaning the leaves off and seeing if we can uh, get a little bit more life out of these beans before we pull them. All the cu cucumbers have been pulled and uh, we also have been cleaning up. I'll tell you, it's a full-time job just pruning these tomatoes. But uh, we got still got tons of tomatoes and the good thing is the upper halves of the tomatoes are starting to uh, produce new uh, uh, tomatoes so it's kind of cool but it looks like I could actually stand the harvest again even though we got about five pounds of tomatoes yesterday so wow nice problem what are you doing did you get trapped in there Who says our animals don't get along together? Here's the kitty. And I got a German Shepherd. And a chocolate lab. The whole family's out here. What are you doing, kitty? Baby. Alright guys, so uh, we're wrapping up the day here. Um, definitely got the propagator thinned out. I still got one, one more bok choy to take out. Everything else is lettuce. And basically all I have for lettuce is romaine and uh, butter, butterhead, or butter, butter crunch. And uh, all of it's looking really good. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll thin this out a little bit more during the week. Uh, I wanna make sure I have good, strong, healthy plants to take outside. And uh, then I'll let a few grow larger in here and uh, that'll, uh, we'll harvest that for our food here and uh, cause we like our uh, lettuce really young. And uh, and plus we'll have plenty to uh, be able to uh, give to our friends. So uh, yeah, been a great day. Guys, I wanna thank you very much for watching. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. 
and uh, say hi in the comments. So anyway, talk to you later, guys. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.